vlog fam, hello from Dallas, Texas. I am back home and it feels so good to be back. I am in my little Dallas room. Bum, bum, bum. Yep, feels so good to be back. I am here this weekend for my roommate, Danny. Danny is my roommate here in this house. Her wedding this weekend, I'm so pumped. So I'm gonna be here for a week and there's much to do, you guys. The wedding is this weekend and I'm one of Danny's bridesmaids and my dress needs to be altered ASAP. Berg and Rocky. Let me know if you get that joke. Anyway, so I have to go do that, but today is going to be a really busy day. Just prepping for the wedding. Lots of fun stuff. I'm going dancing tonight, which is two-stepping. I'm really, really pumped. And yeah, it's just going to be a really great week. And this weekend is also Mother's Day. Much to do, you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoy these Dallas vlogs for the next couple days. And then I'm off to Miami after that, and then I'm back to LA. So much to do. I'm excited. Let's get this day started. It's time to get this thing altered. All right, I'm ready. I'm back home and you guys would not believe what happened at the alterations place. It was hilarious and also terrifying. So I have to get this dress altered before Saturday. Today is Thursday, so I have two days basically till this dress has to be ready. And most places don't really like rush it like that because they, normally they're like, oh, it's gonna take you a week. So I called her beforehand and I'm like, can you please guarantee that you can get it to me by tomorrow, Friday at night? And she said, yeah, I could do it. I was like, great. So I go and get it altered, and I'm there, and I'm like wearing the dress. She's like poking the pins in, you know, try trying to get it to fit my body, right? And I was like, hey, just confirming, you can get this done by tomorrow, correct? She got pissed. This lady was from Budapest, Hungary, and she was like, you don't trust me? And I was like, Gosh, what have I done? You don't trust me? I, I told you I could do this. If you don't trust me, then you can go somewhere else. And she starts taking the pins out because she's so mad at me. I was like, no, 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 I need you, I need you. So she's like, I don't need your business, you need me. I have plenty of customers, I don't need you. And I was just like, what did I do? And I was like, no, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I was like, I'm just trying to confirm that like you can get this done in time. I was like, cause I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, the wedding's on Saturday. And she just is like pissed at me, like going on and on and on about like how I don't trust her and like all this stuff. And I'm like, what have I done? So I'm literally like just trying to be as nice as possible. I was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, it's just, I've never worked with you before. I didn't know what your schedule is like if you're busy. And she's like, I don't just tell people that I can do work if I can't do it. And I was just like, okay, I'm sorry. So then I like calmed her down and then she, worked with me again and then she was like super friendly but I was just like dang mom <laughs> chill out but it freaked me out because I was like I need to get this dress done so that was my drama of the day now I'm gonna go get my uh these bad boys fixed they're really really bad you guys it's time to get our nails done I'm back with Danny oh Danny it's her wedding this weekend yay reunited it's gonna be such a good weekend. How pumped are you? I'm so pumped. She's freaking I'm so pumped. Happy and I bet you're just like ready to get this thing like, over ooh, with. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're gonna get on the dance floor. So everyone wants to know, am I gonna be vlogging the wedding? Are you okay with that? Yeah, seriously. All right, we're Actually, gonna be vlogging the it. The videographer was saying like it'd be fun to like have vlog footage, and I was like, oh, Janine would be on that. Pick me, oh, <laughs> pick me, I'll be there. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get our nails done because we all need to get them nice and pretty for the wedding. So see you guys there. All right, everybody, I'm back. Nails are done. Here we are. What do you think I got? Of course I got white nails. Yep, there's a, these are my nails. I love getting them done in Dallas because they're just, they do such a good job here. And I've yet to find a good salon in LA. Oh my gosh, I'm so oily, gross. Anyway, so I don't know what, ow, literally ow. See, I don't know what the deal is with people today. Like, I don't know if I'm just pissing everybody off. I have no clue. But the nail salon lady was so rude to me. Was literally like, shh. Ow, ow, shaving my nails and was like shredding my skin and literally like, like look at this. All right, so she literally was filing. Can you focus? She was filing so hard that she made my finger bleed and she did not like get it right there. Normally this salon is incredible. I go here every time I go back to Dallas. It's Castle Nail Spa and Mocking Station. Like they look good. But she was being so violent and I literally kept being like, ow, ow. And she would not even say sorry. She would just look at me and be like, and like she was so mean to me. And then I'd be like, I'm so sorry. Like, can you please like reshape it? Like this is still not really fully the shape that I wanted. And she was like, if I go anymore, this is gonna be coffin shape. I'm gonna have to charge you five extra dollars. I was just like, <laughs> so I was like, I'm giving it a rest. I literally have to like go and file some of these myself. So I don't know what the deal is with the nails. Normally the salon is incredible. 
but this lady was just not very nice to me. So I don't know why I'm pissing everybody off today. All right, everybody, I am currently editing for this Saturday's video. I'm really pumped about this video, you guys, so pumped. This is my video with Tiffany Ma. Let me show you guys the intro really quickly. It is dinner time. Lana's here. She cooked me dinner. How sweet. This is like a classic meal for me. Yum. I want you to meet someone special. This is Bella. This is Danny's mom's doggy. There's no Hazel or Lola here this weekend. I'm so sad. Bella, Bella, Bella. Hey, everybody. Update. I'm back with Bria. If you guys remember Bria and Lana. And we are all rocking our cowboy boots. We about to go to step in. I'm so happy. I have not been in my boots in a good while. Feels good to bust them out again. Walked in. Her hair is a little longer, but she did. Hey, this is what Cowboys Red River looks like inside. Here we are. I look like a sweaty mess. Honestly, I probably should shower. Um, I'm back eating some cereal because I don't really have anything else to eat. And this just sounded really good. But tonight was so fun. Basically, it was like a going away party for my friend Daniel. You guys have met Daniel if you watch my old vlogs. I took him to that wedding one time. He was in LA and he stayed at my place one time. He's moving to Tampa tomorrow. So, yeah. All right, we're gonna go to bed soon. Busy, busy weekend. Good morning everybody, and it is another day. It is Friday. I didn't close out the vlog last night because we went to bed really late. So I thought I would just continue yesterday's vlog into today because I feel like yesterday's was somewhat short. And today it is already um, 1.43 and I'm just going to continue because we have the rehearsal dinner for the wedding on Saturday, which is tomorrow. And today is just going to be kind of a chiller day. So I just spent this morning running errands, editing, all sorts of things like that. I wanted to share some exciting news. Exciting news is that I booked my trip to Germany on June 15th. So excited you guys I am oh my gosh I'm so excited so basically my brother-in-law and sister are there right now they're, they're road tripping around Europe right now if you guys remember them from past vlogs they rent out vans they deck them out and they road trip all around certain places so they're in Italy right now I'm gonna meet them in Germany and I get to finally hang out with all my German relatives family it's gonna be a huge party when I land I'm really really pumped now I did want to address something because I have been getting comments about this since my last vlog and I've been getting comments of people saying that they don't feel like I'm proud to be Guatemalan. Now, I'm gonna put my camera somewhere because my arm is getting tired, hold on. Okay, so I've been getting comments about, you know, me not being proud to be Guatemalan or this and that. And so basically, I kinda wanted to touch on this topic. So, the reason why I've, I'm so excited to go to Germany and why I just feel more connected to my German side is just because that's a language that I know better. It's a ling it's a culture that I thoroughly got to study in college. Basically, when I was growing up, my dad was more of like the leader in the family, so we implemented more of his rules, more of his lifestyle as kids. And so it was just something that I kind of just 
was more accustomed to growing up. And I think I kind of want to make a whole video of this about growing up with, you know, foreign parents and mixed cultures because, you know, Spanish culture and European culture are just very different. Anyway, obviously there were certain cultures that my mom implemented, like us making tamales and listening to certain music and she would have certain decorations around the house and just like great things like that. We'd watch certain like Spanish movies, but we also watched German movies. So there was a mixture of both those cultures. But as I got older, I studied Spanish in high school and that that was something that I loved learning. It was so fun learning. I was like, this is awesome. So I would start speaking to my mom in Spanish. But growing up, my parents really struggled teaching us all three languages. They started trying to teach us all three languages. We all couldn't, you know, it was hard because we were trying to learn English at the same time. So the reason why they just stuck teaching us English was just because we all were going to have to know that anyway by living in America. As I got older, I was like, I want to learn Spanish. So I took Spanish in high school and then I soon forgot it. Like the second I graduated, it was like I forgot it because that's actually not true. Like obviously the less you use a language, the less you're going to remember it. And so I stopped remembering it and it was hard for me to practice it because I didn't live with my mom anymore I didn't really speak fluently with her and I didn't really know it fluently to begin with and I just I just it was hard for me to keep up with that language as well as German then college came around and I had to learn a language for my degree and I have always wanted to learn German so I was like all right this is my chance now to learn German and everyone had told me that the Spanish classes were so competitive at UT everybody wanted to take Spanish at UT so everyone was like you know, to get in those classes is ridiculous. They're very hard because they're so competitive. And German was not that popular at UT, and I was like, I wanna learn this language finally because it's something that I think would be really cool to be able to use it with my dad. So I took that in German, I took three years of German, and it was amazing. I got to learn all about the culture, I felt so attached to it. There's always been a little part of me that's just loved the German culture and just the European culture. I'm, I'm like fascinated by it. I think the reason why I'm just like, I talk about it more is just because I know my German side way more than I know my Guatemalan side. I rarely, rarely, rarely speak to my Guatemalan side because majority of them don't speak English. Majority of them just don't. And my German side, they all speak English and German and other languages. And so it's easier for me to communicate with my German relatives. And a lot of them have come over. I've met a lot of them because they all come over to the US. We hang out, but my Guatemalan, Guatemalan side, I really don't ever see them. And even when I go to Guatemala, because I'm definitely planning on doing that, it's even gonna be really difficult for me to learn Spanish that fast or to be able to speak with them. And learning a language is not easy. Like a lot of people have just been like, well then just start learning it. And I'm like, have you tried learning a language? Like I'm already trying to get German down and English obviously I already know, but Spanish, it's like, that's a whole other thing. And like to learn, learn a language, like you have to be completely just submersive in that. and. I'm, even, I'm already struggling with German, so it'd be really, really hard for me to become magically fluent in Spanish, German, and English. So, it's already been challenging, and I feel like I'm not and by any means ashamed or embarrassed or, you know, unproud of being Guatemalan at all. I am so proud to be Guatemalan. I love my skin color. I love my hair color. I love my eye color, despite the fact that I wore color contacts. Like, I am so proud to be who I am, and I'm so thankful for the cultures that I've been raised in because... The, the German side taught me how to be, you know, very type A, organized, clean, um, on time, things like that. But my Guatemalan side taught me to be loving and to live in the moment, to dance and to, and to have fun and laugh. Like, the cultures are just so different. The way my parents both, ra both, both raised me was really, really cool because I got to have really two really cool, unique perspectives on life and on how to live life and so I'm really thankful for both those cultures and I don't want ever I don't want anyone ever to think that I'm not proud of being Guatemalan because I 100% am and like I said it's just it's just a culture that I have a little bit harder time relating to just because I don't speak the language fluently I don't ever see my relatives there they don't speak English and I hear sometimes that the country is really dangerous to visit. And my mom, that's a lot of the times when I was growing up and I would ask my mom, I'm like, mom, I really want to go to Guatemala. I really, want, really, really want to go. She would always be like, no, 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 because she has witnessed by her living there so many dangerous things and she never really wanted me to go because she was so scared of me, you know, going and having something happen to me. Obviously, if I went to certain areas, if I stayed with my family, I'd be fine, but she was just scared of me ever traveling alone. But I definitely still want to make it a priority to go this year because I'm really, really excited. And that's been on my bucket list is to go to both my parents' countries this year. So hopefully that clarifies that. Um, it's I'm in no shape or form more proud of one country, culture than the other. I am equally as proud and happy to be German and Guatemalan. And yeah, I just, I don't want people who are, you know, Spanish or Latina or whatever to feel like I'm not proud of that because I absolutely 
absolutely am. Yeah, I just think learning a language is really, really hard, and that's why I haven't really learned Spanish as much. Um, and it's just, it's feel, I don't know, it's like I feel like it's kind of like too late for me to pick up on that, but I know a lot more German just because it's way more fresh in my mind. I just took it in college, I took three years of it, and yeah. So hopefully that clarifies that for you guys. I hope people don't like take that wrong or whatever. I'm just simply explaining, you know, kind of why it is the way it is, why people, you know, think that. So hopefully you guys don't get mad. Please don't make this about race or culture or just whatever, me being afraid of being Latina. Like that's promise you that's not it. So please don't take this wrong. I'm just explaining you why I feel like I'm a little bit more connected to one culture than the other. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna start the rest of this day. I'm gonna hang out with Timmy Boy later. Timmy Boy is my videographer here in Dallas, but also just my great friend. I love him. And then we have the rehearsal dinner tonight. I just curled my hair and did my makeup. Here's that. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so I'm gonna edit, get some food, and then I will vlog the rest of the day later. Hey, everybody, look who I'm here with. Hey, I'm up here. It's Timmy Boy, woo! So, reunited, Tim is gonna be my my date to the wedding tomorrow. But not like that, don't don't get it twisted. Hashtag plus one. Yep, hashtag. he's plus one, slash, are you doing any pictures, or are you just chilling? He's just chilling, which I'm happy about. And it's gonna be a blast. So we're gonna go pick up my dress finally. I'm excited to see how it looks and how it is. Last time when I was there this morning getting my dress altered again, she was being so nice to me, unlike yesterday. She kept telling me she loved me. I was like, what? Wow, wow. <laughs> He missed the dab. He threw the dab on us. Go straight here and then we'll figure it out. All right, everybody. It's rehearsal dinner time. Here is what I'm wearing to the rehearsal dinner. I have this black dress that I think I got from Nordstrom last September for Salcon. I'm having to suck in so hard right now because I'm always bloated. Always, always bloated. So that's what this looks like. Has a little flap thingy. And I'm wearing these shoes I got from, I believe, Fashion Nova. And then my earrings I wear from Forever 20, they're from Forever 21. I'm gonna take this watch off because I feel like it kind of, kind of downgrades the outfit just a bit. So there's that. It's snacking time. Getting ready for the rehearsal dinner. Look how beautiful Danny is. Ow, ow. Hello, we're going to the rehearsal dinner. Yay, and we're jamming out to Posty. Tim and I have been reenacting vines all day today. It's been great. Cassie doesn't get it though. Cassie doesn't get it. She's too young for that. Yeah. She she missed my and they were roommates joke earlier. YouTuber now, and I was actually a fangirl. If you don't know what the terminology means, it means that you are obsessed with somebody you see on the internet. So back in the day, I was obsessed with Danny. I found out that she was a YouTuber at UT as well, and I was commenting her stuff. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, another YouTuber at UT. Oh my gosh, please notice me. One day she did, and we became friends, and we hit it right off the bat, and um, we became roommates, and it has been amazing. Uh, we are still roommates to this day. And she has been somebody who has been 
just like a staple person in my life. Whenever I'd go make stupid decisions, as I always do, I come back to Danny. I'm like, Danny, help me. And she is always there to just comfort me and to give me wise advice and wisdom and just somebody who is so sound in her faith and has loved me unconditionally through highs and lows. And also Jordan. I met Jordan when I was going through a pretty rough patch in my life. And Jordan and Danny both were people who gave me, again, solid, sound advice, who loved me unconditionally, and were just, you know, somebody like I, I admired. When I thought of what relationship do I want in the future, that's what I want. And so I am still their roommate to this day. I'm going to now be their third child because they're like my mom and dad. So along with Lola and Hazel, I'm their third child. And I am looking forward to the future and what um, that holds for you guys. Please don't forget that my bedroom's across the hallway from y'all's. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, God bless you guys. So excited for tomorrow to party and have and live it big and celebrate y'all's marriage. And cheers to oh, Danny cheers. and Jordan. Yeah. Woo! Hey. Oh, you guys! Look what Danny got yeah. us. This is adorable. PJs and robes, we've got shoes. Look, our bags have names on them. I am so excited. Little pajamas Danny got us. They're so cute. I think these are from Sam Edelman. Wait, Danny, Hello. All right, everybody, it's time for bed. The wedding is tomorrow. Today was great. I'm gonna go sleep in my new comfy pajamas. I'm so excited. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the wedding. Stay tuned because the vlog is gonna be so fun. And peace out, Girl Scout. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.